sometimes you get people asking you like stupid questions. And it's, it's not like, you know, curiosity stuff. It's not like, oh, if you're, if you're like transgender and you want to fall in love with a woman, does that make you a lesbian, you know? Not stuff that you can go, oh, well, it's, it's just curiosity. It's really like arrogant, ignorant, stupid shit, you know? And one of the things someone actually said to me was, oh, you're not, I said, well, you're not really transgender. And I asked them, I said, well, what do you mean by that? And they said, well, uh, you're still a female because you have not had your sex change operation yet, and you still have a female name. And I'm like, so, let me get this straight. If I had a sex change operation and I had my name legally changed, a mosquito in here. I said, technically that wouldn't make me transgender anymore. That would make me a guy. You know, if I, oh lord, my nose itches. Sorry, didn't mean to pick it, but when it itches, it itches. And I said, well, I said, do you realize if I got a sex change operation, I wouldn't be transgender anymore. I would just be a guy. So, you know, it, it's always a sort of a... You always get people who just... Not even from the actual uh, LB, uh, LGBT community. It's always people who are not even part of it. You know, who put their, like, two cents in. You know, oh, you're not transgender because you own a bag. Or you're not trans... You're not really a transgender or, you, you know, female to male because you own, like, a Hello Kitty pencil, you know. So, like, like oh, scandal. And there's always those sort of people that there's always those sort of people that say that, and they're not people from within the community because they say, "Well, you know, you're too bubbly to be a guy." Really? I mean, you want me to be a you know a stereotype male, just some guy who goes around. Telling women to get get back in the kitchen and just com be a complete douchebag. Seriously. And some of it is some of it I don't mind, you know. Like when the question of well, if you're transgender and you were to date a woman, does that make you a lesbian or heterosexual? I don't mind that. Mm -mm, I don't mind those questions at all. But it, it is when you come across people who saying, "Oh, you're not transgender because, well, you can't possibly be a guy because you know you own a poster of a kitty, you know, and guys don't have posters of kitties in their rooms." So, well, you're not a guy then if you got kitties in your room. I don't know, where does it say that, though? Where does it say that, you know, guys have to behave a certain way and girls have to behave a certain way? I mean, that's stereotyping. And, you know, if people don't want to be stereotyped, then you shouldn't stereotype others. You know, I carry around a bag. It's well, stuff like messenger bags. I don't even know what sort of bags they call it. It's just random little long strap goes over my, um, you know, drapes across my chest, 
that sort of bad because I have around this time of the year I have to have lotion anti-itch creams actually so I have to tote stuff with me and I can't stick that in my pocket you know because because a lot of that stuff you're not supposed to keep on you because your body temperature will get a little too hot but anyway and I think I might make this a part two because I started off on one subject and I was going to start on one subject and I ended up going to a completely different one so I'm going to do part two